Hello, welcome to another episode of Probabilistic Programming Primer. I'm Patrick Coy. We're going to talk about Bayesian A B testing. The question, the business question we're trying to answer is how do you use PyMC3 to pick better ads? Or, but this could be anything. This could be better landing pages, this could be a better copywriting, whatever. So we have two images. On the left is a control, on the right is a treatment. Your boss, the head of Star Wars Lego Analytics, thinks that the treatment will convert better. We load up our defaults. You're going to notice one thing here. You're going to notice this theano.gof compile lock. That's just to help NOR warnings. It's not terribly important. We've got 1,000 users in A and B. OBS V1 is the number of people who click on the ad for the control. OBS V2 is the number of people who click on the ad for the treatment. They're all randomly allocated to each bucket. So we need to define our model. We'll use a beta distribution for the priors and a Bernoulli distribution for the likelihood. This is standard best practice for A-B testing in a Bayesian setting. The model needs to be defined within a context, so we place every command within PM model. Alphas and betas are the parameters of the beta distribution. We choose the value 2 to give a tiny preference to draw at first. N is the number of users in the experiment at the moment. P is the probability of converting users and observed is the actual number of users who converted. Now that we've set up the distributions for each variation, we can operate them with them to come up with interesting results. Let's create two variables that will contain the difference in the relation between variations. I just want to make a remark. This came from Marco Pranjic, who's one of my students. Originally, we used prior, PV, prior V1 and prior V2 as the variable names. Mark would argue that the variable name is a bit confusing. Prior v1 is not a prior, it is a sample from a true effect that has been modelled. The true effect will be primed with a prior, a draw of the beta 2 2. The difference prior v1 minus prior v2 is not a part of the modelling, it's a way of, to inspect the difference between these two true effects. The difference is plotted at the end with a ref val equals 0. Meaning, plot this difference and plot the percentage below and above the values in ref val. Value of zero, this means that there's no difference. So we've shown that there's significant probability that there's a difference between version 1 and version 2. So we're going to change these names. I'm going to put this in as well. change this as well oh we got an error that's what happens whenever you change things around so let's just wait for this sampler to run so we've changed all our names often whenever you're running PyMC3 models, you'll often have to go make a coffee. So that's what I'll do. I'll come back whenever this runs successfully. So that runs successfully. So that took about five minutes. So just so you know, this will take a little while. So let's look at the output of the trace and we can wrap this up. So we see the hairy caterpillar effect. We see that here. So that's pretty good. On the left column you can see the distributions, on the right you can see the sampling value for each step. So mixing looks good, we can do some inference. Looking at the difference of the relation histogram, we can see we have 97% confidence that variation 2 is better than variation 1. If we had defined earlier a significance level of 5%, we can declare a window. We can confirm the hypothesis and we can tell our head of Star Wars Analytics to run the second ad, the red one. So that wraps it up. We can see the power of Bayesian A-B testing. We've seen it with this example. We've seen you how we, we can run a model and we've seen how we can evaluate it. So I hope that helps and you can apply this in your, your own use cases.